Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about what the configuration of polymers is and the importance of it in the structure of polymers. In the previous video, which I'll post a link in the description below if you're interested, we talked about the various polymer chain lengths and how to classify them. To further build on this topic of understanding and defining our polymer chain lengths, we will talk about the configuration of a polymer chain and the conformation of a polymer chain, which will be the next video in this playlist. So, Let's start with the definition of a polymer's configuration. The configuration of a polymer refers to the chemically set configuration of the polymer's bonds, which can only be changed by breaking the relevant bonds. At a basic level, we are saying this. We have this order of atoms, but this is not enough to fully describe our polymer. Let's look at this blue square here. The atom configuration is still the same in polymer 1 and 2, but the polymers are very different from one another. So, we can have the same atom configuration, but different polymers. Therefore, we are interested in what are called isomers. These are polymers, or just compounds in general, that have the same atom arrangement, but different spatial arrangements. The reason for this is that around a single bond, the atom on the right here can freely rotate. However, when we add a second bond, it is no longer able to rotate, and the configuration is locked in, which is very important in polymer properties. Let's begin by talking about stereoisomers. So, let's say that I asked you to draw me this simple polymer. Well, you think, that's simple enough, so you draw the following polymer. But wait, what if our carbon on the right here was attached the other way around? Well, we get the same chemical formula for both, so which is right? Well, they're both right, and these are called isomers, which we mentioned earlier, as they share the same chemical formula, but are very different from one another. Because they are so different, this is why we needed proper names for them, which are cis and trans. So, in these two polymers, we have the exact same configuration of our atoms, so the order of our atoms. The only thing that is different is that we could have this larger methyl group on either end of the right carbon, and this will greatly affect the properties of the polymer. Thus, the reason for needing to define cis and trans versions. I will add another resource for naming cis and trans polymers in the description below if you haven't learned about them previously. Alright, so that covers configuration differences about double bonds for polymers, but do you think we could run into configuration problems without double bonds? Well, of course we could, in some larger polymers for example. So when the configuration of a polymer is important about single bonds, it is called taxicity. The taxicity of a polymer chain refers to the stereoregularity of the polymer chain. The stereoregularity of a polymer's chain just tells us the degree to which the polymer configuration follows some order. To better understand this, let's examine a planar linear polymer chain in which there are three taxicities. Firstly, there is an isotactic configuration where all the branching carbon groups, denoted R, lie on a single side of the main chain. Another example is atactic, in which there is a random sequence of branching chains in no particular order. And lastly, there is syndiotactic, in which the branching carbon groups are always on alternating planes. Although single atoms about a single bond can rotate, taxicity is something to remember, and keep in mind that there is no way to rotate one of these three examples to create the other one. However, the configuration of them is all the same. The attachments of all the atoms is the same, just the sides and way they are set up is different. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding about what a polymer's configuration is. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.